to gloss or not to gloss that is the question and the dilemma but that is not what this video is about let's get to it I hope you guys are all doing well. As you can see, I decided to gloss because what is life without gloss? And I've become a gloss addict. Welcome once again to another video from my autumn winter fashion edit week. If this is the first video from this week that you're stumbling upon, this week is all about autumn winter fashion and I'm uploading every day. A lot of styling videos, trend videos, hauls. We're talking all things autumn winter fashion because I like to get a lot of my autumn winter fashion in the beginning of the season. There might be a few things I'll pick up throughout the season, but for the most part, most of the good things come out in the beginning of the season so I do these videos to help me and to help you see what's there on the high street as well as what have the designers been doing as well because you know I like to sprinkle a bit of luxury here and there sometimes if you're not already subscribed I think you should do also make sure you have your post notifications turned on for me so that you don't miss any other videos from this week or any of my future videos so today I have an and other stories and I'll get haul for you guys and let's just get into it so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is actually this shirt well shirt or jumper mm, I don't know it's not really a jumper material i'm gonna call it a t-shirt but it's this top yeah let me just call it a top it's this top that i got from arquette and it is in this lovely bottle green i feel like it's coming up a bit more i don't know you're not getting the bottle green from what i can see on my viewfinder but hopefully you guys will be able to see on the try on this is stunning green was definitely a big color during spring and summer and i think it's definitely going to be a big color in autumn and winter although i have seen lilac popping up everywhere now another thing that i'm also also doing during this week is I will be posting over on my Instagram some other items that I've seen in the stores that maybe I didn't purchase but I think you guys might like but make sure you head over to my Instagram because that is where I will be sharing those items and also be linking those items as well so something like this beautiful item right here if you want the link make sure you head over to my Instagram but yeah this green top absolutely love it there's also a green pair of trousers that I've ordered from mango and I think for like a full green monochromatic look it would look gorgeous this would also go really really well i have a lot of light beige trousers it will go really really well with that another thing that i like is it has these with the hands so it has the cut out for the thumb it does sort of remind me of my gym top because my gym top also has this so whenever you're doing any sort of weights on your hands this area here you can lose some skin i've actually seen pictures of like the skin hair completely ripping and i think it's because of like not spikes but the little protrusions that are on some of the olympic barbells so a lot of my gym tops have this the color is stunning it was the color for me it was the color for me so next up from Arquette I got this oversized blazer now this I believe is called the um, this has a specific name I can't find the name it just says Arquette RWS certified wall so basically this I have seen a few people online speak about this particular blazer collection from Arquette that it's amazing it's the best blazer ever you need it in your wardrobe I'm not impressed for 135 pounds I'm not impressed if this was like 70 60 pounds I would be impressed but for 135 pounds I feel like this is a blazer that you could probably get vintage this is also a blazer that you can probably get in H&M and considering that Arquette and H&M are sister brands I definitely feel like they've given us a H&M blazer at an Arquette price point in general okay I'm just gonna say an unpo I'm just gonna say an unpopular opinion here in general I feel like Arquette is overhyped and overpriced I put it on the same pedestal as Cos, Reese also and other stories in terms of price point but in terms of quality and affordability and in terms of cost per wear the other brands reign supreme so yeah with this I don't know I just needed I wanted the shoulder pads to be more padded I just wanted it to be a bit more thicker now I do know it's made from wool so I think maybe that is where the price comes into but I would take alpaca and I definitely will get a lot of wear out of it. The only reason that I am going to be keeping it is I actually made my Arquette order first for this whole week. So the return window has actually run out. But if the return window had not run out, I actually would be returning this. But it is a nice blazer and I know I will get a lot of wear out of it. It's just the price for me. I do feel like it's been overhyped. I will link in the description bar below some other alternatives. There is a version of this. There was like this muted yellow version and also this grey version that is actually on sale right now for £70. I don't wear too much grey so I didn't get it. So I got it in this really gorgeous maroon colour. I got it oversized. I got it in a size 44 which was the biggest size that they had. It means that you can pair them with a 
lot of dresses and I'm definitely a dress type of girl. If you want to wear any of your summer dresses, pop an oversized blazer over them and you're good to go. Provided that they don't have those really bright floral colours that like really scream spring and summer. Lastly from Arquette, I just got this really basic top. Now, as you can see, this is a tad bit see-through and I believe this was about £35. Remember what I said about Arquette being overpriced and overhyped? That this is the perfect example. Once again, I can't return it because the return window is over. So I'll have to keep it. I guess I'll just have to wear like definitely a slip underneath. It's a nice top. I just wish it was thicker and wasn't so evidently see-through. But then again, my hanger is bright turquoise blue so maybe that's the reason but this is just a basic piece this is a layering piece that's what autumn and winter is all about layering and adding on and you can really do a lot with accessorizing and once you have the basics i'm going to do a video all about autumn winter basics because once you start with your base pieces then everything else just adds on like that extra touch so on to and other stories which is definitely one of my favorite favorite brands firstly i got this wool jumper i think it might mess up my um ISO but I think it's alright. So I got this wool green, sort of like this pale green colour. Love this so much. Even though it has that sort of turtleneck top, it doesn't restrict my neck which is what I hate about turtlenecks. It's in this lovely colour that is very in for this season and, and other stories similar to H&M do such good knits. When it comes to knits I am of two minds. One that if it's a knit that's very trendy I'm not going to spend a lot of money on it. However if it's a classic knit so some Something like this I will spend a little extra money in it because you will have it for so much longer like there are knits that I've had for ages last year specifically I really invested in some good quality knits and I know I'm gonna be able to use them this year as well and that's exactly what this is and this wasn't even that expensive either if I think about it I don't know if it has the price it does this was 35 pounds actually and it's a hundred percent wool I believe no it's not okay no wonder it feels like wool it's actually recycled polyester now i understand why it was 35 pounds but it feels amazing like it feels exactly like wool so you guys know how much i love dresses so next up i got this really lovely cream polo dress i'm gonna put it here because it's gonna mess up my white balance however you guys will see in the try on absolutely adore this i feel like this is something that you can dress up casually with a pair of doc martens an oversized blazer or even a trench coat or you can dress up with a pair of knee high or even over the knee brown boots i think brown boots would look amazing Amazing. or even a pair of barely there heels for dinner or lunch I love the gold accented buttons and I just love everything about this it's really amazing quality very thick I absolutely adore this they also had this in a navy color and a black color as well so I will link both of those in the description bar below if you're someone that doesn't really like jumper dresses but still wants to get a lot of wear out of dresses this is one of those things that you can get a lot of wear out of in autumn and winter as well as in spring and summer as well lastly from and other stories I feel like every year yeah, every time I do these haul weeks, I always have one piece from Anna Other Stories that is going to be like a mm, a bit like Marmite. You're going to like it or you're not going to like it. And it is this green jumpsuit. Now, hear me out. Firstly, I wasn't expecting it to be this bright. It is quite bright. It's not coming up that bright on the camera, but it's very bright. But, you know me, I love a bit of bright. And this, and colour is very in. I'm going to do a trends video this week. Colour is in, even more so than ever. So, this is actually perfect. This is very on trend. And I think you could really dress down the colour by pairing it with a houndstooth coat. Or I don't really like black coats, but you could pair it with a cream coat. There is a cream coat that I got from H&M that coat is the coat of dreams and it's actually very well priced i love this so much and this sort of green is not my usual color like if this was in red it would be a bit of me but i saw it in this color and i thought you know what let me try it out because i like the bright colors and i think this will suit me quite well and I'm loving the green of this top so this as well I'm feeling it it's very very lovely made of a very good quality denim material and this is actually shell organic cotton which would explain the price as well because I think it was 95 pounds but I also have a discount code for and other stories I'm not too sure if it's still going to be valid by the time I post this haul week but I'll leave it in the description bar below so make sure you check it out and use it because then you can get about 10 or 15% off your order as well so I 
I got 10%, 10, I think it was 10 or 15% off this order. So those are all the items that I got. Let me know in the description bar below what you think I should keep or what you think I should return. Let me know if there's any items that you would like to purchase. Also remember to head over to my Instagram if you're not already following me because I will also be posting some extra items on there that I haven't purchased but I think you guys might like and I'll be linking them on my IG stories as well. So if you want to see them, make sure you head over there. Once again, if you're not already subscribed, please do. You've got to the end of the video. I think you like me. And if you like this video, I think you might like this video here or possibly this video here. Click on either of those and let me continue to entertain you. Also, make sure you have your post notifications turned on for me so that you don't miss any other videos. And I'll see you again tomorrow for my next video from this autumn winter edit. I hope you have a good morning, evening, afternoon or whatever time you're watching this video. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.